This video explains how to reproduce and fix the error message plot new has not been called yet in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. Now let's assume that we want to draw a line plot that contains certain values in a line. Then we might try to apply the lines function as you can see in line two of the code. And within the lines function, we would specify the values that we want to draw. However, if we apply the code that you can see in line two, the error message error in plot new, plot new has not been called yet, is appearing in the RStudio console and no plot is drawn. And the reason for that is that some functions need a plot that is already drawn in the forefront before applying this function. So now we have two possibilities to fix this error message. The first possibility is that we are drawing a new plot which contains our line. And for this, we have to apply the plot function instead of the lines function. And within the plot function, we can specify that the type of our plot should be a line by setting the type argument to be equal to the character L. So if you run line four of the code, you can see at the bottom right that a line plot is appearing without any error messages anymore. So in this example, I have explained how to draw a line plot without any previously created plot. However, it's also possible to add a line using the lines function on top of an existing plot. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in lines six and seven of the code. So in line six of the code, I'm first creating a scatter plot using the plot function once again. So if you run line six of the code, you can see at the bottom right that a new scatter plot is appearing without a line. And now we can use the same syntax as in line two to add a line on top of this plot. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see that our line is drawn on top of this plot and no error messages are shown. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.